Hey, what's up guys? So, back at the laser test, we've got a bunch of laser guns here on hand and uh, we put together all the different LTI guns that we have here. We've got everything from like the very first laser gun ever created all the way up to like some of the best, more modern guns. So let's go ahead and just kind of like run through the lineup of all the uh, LTI guns that we've got on hand here. So starting things off, we actually have the very first laser gun ever released. This is the Brick, the LTI 2020. Now this was first released in 1991. Uh, this particular one has a build date of 1992. Uh, now it's a very heavy LiDAR gun. Uh, it's got a scope here on top. Uh, there's only like the reticle dot inside. There's no speed uh, displayed here there. If you wanna actually see the speed when you stop shooting, you've actually gotta look uh, at the display here on the back of the gun. Uh, now, they later released the uh, LTI Marksman. That actually adds a speed display in the viewfinder itself. I noticed just looking through it here, it's like a tiny little hole. It's like looking through a peephole almost. Uh, the PL1 that we've got over here next to it actually has a much larger viewfinder. Uh, anyways, moving on here from uh, this LTI 2020, which is in, like amazingly mint condition, by the way. Uh, we've got like some of the uh, the Ultralight series guns. So first we've got uh, just kind of the original Ultralight. It looks like this. This is when they started getting into some of the more modern types of designs. Uh, you've got the scope here on top, the display here on the back. This particular one I noticed has like these bigger uh, buttons that stick up, a little bit easier to feel just by touch alone. And if you compare it here to the uh, LRB, for example, you can see the design here is a little bit different. Uh, the buttons are flat instead of raised here on the uh, regular Ultralight. There are other versions of these guns as well. There's some changes like uh, optically, they're a little bit different. The LRB also has a different pulse pattern. This one drops down to uh, 100 pulses per second instead of uh, the other ones we talked about are 125. And then this particular LRB, you can see it also has the uh, stock attached to it as well. You can unscrew it and like flip it out uh, and use it as a shoulder stock just for extra support when you're shooting it. It attaches to a variety of uh, the different models that they have here. And then the next one that we have here, it's very similar to the uh, regular 2020. This is actually the LTI 2020 Compact. As you can see, it's actually very tiny. There's no uh, handle here underneath. Instead, the idea is like you would just kind of stick your hand up like this. There's attachment points here for like a hand grip to kind of wrap around your hand to help hold it in place. And you can see you've got the buttons right here to uh, transmit, fire, uh, adjust the settings and whatnot. Now all the information will be displayed here on the back of the gun. Uh, you've got your power cable right there to give it power. There's no like batteries or anything that goes in on the bottom. Uh, but this goes back to 125 uh, pulses per second. Now the next generation gun that we've got here on hand is gonna be uh, one of the more modern guns. We've got the uh, LTI True Speed looks like this. Um, so you can see like new case design, uh, still kind of like vertically stacked lenses. This one actually, it's got an interesting pulse pattern. Uh, unlike the custom PL3s, uh, these ones would actually transmit at uh, 200 pulses per second. Uh, the True Speeds would actually transmit at 201 pulses per second. And the idea is where they were actually trying to defeat some laser jammers where they were wanting it to make it look like a PL3, but because it's transmitting at a slightly different pulse rate, eventually you would get a punch through because you've got a timing mismatch and boom, you would get a speed rating uh, off of a car that has laser jammers and Installed. So fun little fun fact there uh, about the pulse rate here on the true speed. Uh, now there's actually kind of like a screw threads here on the viewfinder and if you take a look we've got another version. Uh, this is the true speed LR. This is the long range version of the true speed and it actually has the scope attached like this. So as you can see normally uh, when you're looking through the viewfinder it's just your standard 1x unzoomed scope. Uh, because it's a long range one, if you want to zoom in to get like a longer distance shot, there's basically this uh, screw in eyepiece that you can do that bumps it up to a 3.5x zoom. So now it just makes it easier to target cars uh, farther away, especially when you're going for, well, long range shots. Have noticed uh, just testing around, as I mentioned in the LR video, it is kind of difficult to actually get locks on vehicles, especially at uh, longer distances, but here's the uh, long range version of the LTI True Speed. Oh, something else to mention, uh, the pulse pattern here has changed again. They started getting more into like uh, some VPR anti-jamming type stuff. So uh, there is a VPR pattern here that is different uh, than the regular True Speed. It's the same pattern that you see in like the True Cam, the True Vision, uh, etc. All right, now finally, uh, at the very bottom here of the table, you can see we've got four different guns. These are the compact ones, and these are actually probably some of my favorite laser guns like on the market. So I've got one of these, uh, the LTI True Speed S. I've done like one or two videos on them. I love them. They are compact little guns. They look like basically a set of binoculars when you're using it, which is very different if you want to go out and test. Do something like this, it looks like a gun, so people around might be kind of concerned. But you got the same idea here with uh, the True Speed S. Very popular with like motorcycle cops because it's so compact and lightweight. I keep one of these just like tucked into a little uh, like glove box type thing in my Audi. Like I love this gun. It's got a 7x zoom here, uh, so you can zoom in. It makes it much easier to actually go and like uh, lock onto vehicles at a distance. Uh, you can check out my TSS video if you want to see more information about it. But uh, there's three different versions, and we happen to have all of them here on hand. So the standard one uh, is the True Speed S. I believe 
the TSS has now been discontinued. Uh, we've got also uh, the TruSpeed S X. So the X is basically designed, it's got like uh, some accident reconstruction type stuff. So uh, if an officer wants to go and like figure out angle measurements and stuff on a hill, figure out, you know, how far away things are, kind of what angle you're tilted down, uh, there's a gyroscope in there that helps with like a lot of the angle stuff for accident reconstruction purposes, not just like speed and distance measurement. And then finally, the newest version of it is going to be the TruSpeed SXB. So same thing as the SX with the angle stuff, but they add Bluetooth so you can connect it to an app and do some extra stuff here uh, with the phone. So this is kind of like the fanciest version, latest and greatest, but otherwise similar idea with jamming. It transmits at about 4,000 pulses per second, so much, much faster than the other guns. However, it does kind of take breaks uh, as far as like the pulse pattern that it transmits, so it sends like brrr, takes a little break, brrr, takes a break. And so if you average it all out, it works out to like 2,800 pulses per second or so, but uh, just that's the rate, 4,000 pulses per second if it was to transmit continuously. But I actually really like these guns. It's one of my favorites. Um, and this is one of the latest ones that you're gonna see here from LTI. So uh, anyways, we've got uh, a bunch of guns here. Again, thank you to everybody who's been bringing out equipment so we have a chance to take a look at it here on hand, do a video and share it with you guys. So if you guys know more about any of these guns, I know there are other uh, models of the different ultralights that we don't have here that I haven't covered in this video, but if you guys know some for more information, you wanna share it down in the comments, I'd always love to learn more. So that said, thanks so much for watching. Hope you're doing great. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.